I'd like to thank all of you for uh, giving us uh, this opportunity to come and talk to you. Um, I know you have got extremely busy schedules, um, and uh, the African Leaders Malaria Alliance is really honored to have this opportunity to interact with leaders um, uh, like yourselves. The African Leaders Malaria Alliance is an alliance of, of 35 African heads of state, uh, partnering with the African Union and the United Nations. Um, to, to take ownership of every single activity that, is, that will ensure that malaria is no more, um, like Mark Green was saying. The, the alliance is currently chaired by His Excellency President Kikwete of the United Republic of Tanzania. The role that the heads of state see themselves playing is a role that will enable them to address this challenge, which they see not just as a challenge uh, of uh, numbers, but a challenge of the quality of life and the economic growth of their communities. They, they want to know every single stumbling block, every bottleneck that is encumbering the achievement of universal coverage and the elimination uh, of deaths from, from malaria whether it is in the area of prevention, whether it is in the area of uh, detection, whether it is the, in, in the area of effective treatment, or it is in the area of research. They want to be able to deliver the, the, the number of children, the, the lives of the children that are currently threatened with, the death of, with, with death from malaria. You will know from this report that if we actually continue uh, on, the, on, the, on the current trajectory, we will be able to save over one million children's lives by 2015. So this, this is what these heads of state want to deliver. They are sure that they will be able to deliver this because there is conclusive evidence that the cost of malaria is not just about the 1.3 gross domestic product per year that they're losing or the 12 billion that Africa is using. It's about 40% of public health spending going to malaria. It is about 50% of outpatient visits being due to malaria, taking up the time of health workers who could otherwise be engaged uh, in, in, uh, in, in treating other critical health care problems. It's about 10% of poor families' annual income being spent on malaria. It is about 40% of under deaths or under five deaths being from malaria in countries, for example, like Mozambique, where a survey this year revealed that 42% of under five deaths were due to malaria. This is the challenge that the heads of state feel they have to address and that they cannot continue to allow to threaten the economic growth of the continent, of the African continent. So they want to place malaria high on their agenda, their own agenda first not just the agenda of the international community, but their own agenda and the agendas of their countries. They want this high level advocacy to be about advocacy at community level and at the highest possible level uh, internationally. They want collective attention, but they also want collective action. They want to share information and good practices so that all of them can be able to do the right things. Now they have taken on the major challenges since, the, since, since ALMA was created in September last year. They have, they have, addressed, they, they have addressed the challenges that, uh, that require innovative solutions. Uh, for example, there is a challenge right now with uh, the procurement uh, of, of uh, malaria drugs and commodities. I, 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 I so then we have worked with these to develop an ALMA tender for, for the African heads of state to be able to uh, encourage their, their own countries to go through a tendering process which cuts down the procurement period from a period of six, 12 to six, 18 months to, to about three months. We are signing memorandums of understanding with, uh, with, uh, the, with uh, MTEC, which, which has been working on elimination of taxes and tariffs so that each head of state can commit to a definite date when they will be eliminating tens and tariffs in their countries. We are, we are signing a memorandum of understanding with, uh, with uh, 
RPM and WHO, so that each of the head of state can commit to the exact date when they are going to ban the use of monotherapies. We are signing a memorandum of understanding with UNICEF so that it can work with all the, the partners that are working on utilization of nets so that we do not have a situation where there are nets in, in a household but they are not being utilized. So we are also currently in the process of, of, of developing a sustainable strategy with uh, the assistance of the Gates Foundation, uh, country by country, so that countries do not consistently come back to you for resources, so that you can be told that with effect from this particular date on in 2015, countries will now be able to carry their own load in terms of sustaining the gains that we have made uh, on malaria. So a sustainable financing mechanism that is country-based. So the heads of state are regrouping, they are resolved, they are rebuilding, they want to use available resources, their own and the ones that the international community make available, and they want to deliver results. And the African Leaders Malaria Alliance is particularly grateful uh, for the partnership of the American people that you champion and that you make available to the African leaders and to their countries and their people. Thank you.